Hello and welcome to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we are going to be learning how to convert linear equations from standard form to slope-intercept form. Now, linear equations come in many forms, and there are two very recognizable forms that we deal with a lot in algebra. The first one is called standard form, and this is where we have some number of x and some number of y, then the equal sign, and then some number after it. So ax plus by equals c. So for instance, this is an example, 3x plus 5y equals 9, or negative 2x plus 7y equals negative 20. You can see we've got the x's, and then the y's, the equal sign, and then the number after the equal sign. Okay, that's the standard form. Then we have the slope-intercept form, the other recognizable one. And this one is y equals mx plus b. Okay, so we have y by itself, the equal sign, and then some number of x's, and then some number after the x's. So here's an example, y equals 2x minus 8, or y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 11. The y is always by itself, then the equal sign, then we have the x's, and then the whole number, or whatever number is at the end, adding or subtracting. And so, these two particular forms are helpful in a lot of different ways, slope-intercept being one where we can graph very easily if it's in this format. So here's an example of converting the two. Now we're going to take a standard form and convert it to slope-intercept. It's rare that you ever have to take it from slope-intercept and put it into standard form. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate the y. So we're going to first take care of that 2x. We're going to subtract the 2x on both sides. Canceling that out, we're left with 3y equals negative 2x plus 12. And you might notice that first off, the, the 12 and the negative 2x are not combinable. They are not like terms. And I put the negative 2x before the plus 12 because that's the form that we're going for, the y equals mx plus b. Now we're going to divide by 3 on both sides, and so that means we divide everything by 3. So that cancels this out, and then we're left with y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. And I always put the fraction out in front of the x, because when we, when we graph these, it's going to help us a lot easier with the slope. Now here's another example. Negative x plus 4y equals negative 20. So we'll isolate the y again. We're going to take care of the minus x. So we add x on both sides, leaving us 4y equals x minus 20. I put the x before the minus 20. Then we're going to divide by 4 all the way through. And so that cancels. And so I'm left with y equals. Now, what happens if you don't have a number in front of x? Is that a fraction of some sort? Well, you have to remember there's always a 1 in front of the x if there's no number there. So we're actually going to have 1 fourth x. And then negative 20 divided by 4 is minus 5. And so there it is, y equals mx plus b. You've got your answer. And that's how you convert from standard form to slope-intercept form. Well, I hope you'll learn a little bit about the uh, this topic. And uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.